a very useful function in Excel that allows you to join multiple cells into one cell. It's called concatenate. Now it's got a various names and the various versions have made some changes. But at the basic level, let's just go through what it can do. So what I've got here is two reports. This report makes a unique client number. So it takes the division, the client number and the branch and it puts a dash in between but it's in a single column. This report brings it out in three different columns. We need something that will take that, put it together and put the dashes in. So the function to use is called concatenate. So under the text section. Now what you'll see is in the latest versions it's been shortened to concat but if you type it in you'll see you still have the option the old one concatenate but it's warning you that it's no longer used this is the preferred one so let's use the latest version but they work exactly the same and you'll see it's just a case of specifying what must be put together so based on this I know the first thing must be the division so I'm going to point over here and I'll go here now notice as you add one more appears and lots can appear we need a dash, there's no dash anywhere here so in inverted commas I'm just going to put a dash and what's nice about the function wizard you can see you can see what it's going to look like before you click enter next thing is that one there we then need another dash and the last thing we need is this one here before you click just check that that is looking like that when we say OK it has now joined these cells into a single cell. If I copy it down immediately it does those joins and we can now if we need to match these two reports. You don't have to use this function. The ampersand is actually a shortcut version of this. So if I'm going to create the exact same thing over here I'm going to say I'm going to create a function I'm going to say equals I click on the first one and then I type my ampersand. So that is saying join. I'm going to put my inverted commas and put the dash and then put the ampersand and tell it to look there. And then again we'll put an ampersand. We need the next dash, another ampersand, and click there. When I click enter, you'll see it gives me the same thing. So this sometimes it's easier, especially when you're building these into other formulas. It's easier to remember that than to try and remember how to spell concatenate. Finally, in the newest versions of Excel, there's a similar function called text join. Now the problem with concatenate is you have to pretty much point at each cell. So if, for example, you had 50 columns you wanted to join, you'd have to click on that put the dash in, click on the next one, put the dash in. So it can be quite time consuming, very prone to errors. So there's now a function in Excel called text join. And what it asks you is it says, okay, give me the delimiter. Delimiter is this dash. So what is going to go between each of these cells? So I'm just going to, in inverted commas, put a dash then ask what must it do if one of these cells is empty and you'll see if you put a true then it ignores the empty cells so that's fine I'm going to leave it as true we'll just actually leave it blank then you've got the text now you can point at them but the benefit of this one is I can actually just go like that and highlight them so I no longer need to go one by one I highlight them all and it knows that you want it to have a dash so you can see it's achieving the same thing. So when we say OK, we can now copy it down. So that's three ways to join cells. Say take three columns and join them into one.